Hello. This presentation is entitled Model Modeling and Validation of Renewable Energy Sources in the OpenAPSL Modelica Library. My name is Fernando Facchini, and the other authors involved in this project are Luigi, Marcelo, Tatiana, and Giuseppe. The content is divided as such. We will start with an introduction on what is Modelica and what is the OpenAPSL Library. We will go through some conceptual background information on the generic renewable energy models from the WECC guidelines. These models are PV, wind, and battery. And we will discuss how the different modules connect together. The validation process was done using Siemens PTI PSSC. And an example of the capabilities of the models will be done showing the PV model with the radiance input. So what is the Modelic Association? It is a, it develops the coordination of open access standards and open source software in the area of cyber physical systems. It leads the development of the Modelica language and it also develops some open source libraries such as the Modelica standard library. Modeling is designed to provide, Modelica is designed to provide object oriented component based modeling of cyber physical systems. And as such, it is an object-oriented equation-based approach. This means that the models are described mathematically using differential algebraic discrete equations. Inputs and output casualty does not need to be considered when modeling components. And object orientation allows for inherited common attributes between models of a certain class allowing for reusability. Now, what is the open IPSL library? Well, it's an open source Modelica library for power systems. That one contains a set of power system components for phaser modeling and simulation of power systems. All the models in, in the open APSL library are verified against a reference tool, which is PSSC. And the models can be used in multiple tools, such as Daimola, Open Modelica, Model Impact, Wolfram, System Modeler, etc. And it uses an ambiguous model exchange, formal mathematical description of the models, separation of the models from the tools and IDEs and solvers, and it uses object-oriented paradigms. These are some of the examples that we can find in the OpenAPSL library using the components that we have. Now, some conceptual background. The new renewable energy models implemented in the OpenAPSL library are based on the WCC modeling and validation workgroup guidelines. As mentioned previously, these renewable sources include PV, winds, and battery energy storage systems. And they're intended for electromechanical transit analysis, meaning that they're used for phaser simulation, which is exactly the range of operation that OpenAPSL simulates. The renewable energy sources, they are comprised of three main components. In red, we have the REGCA module, which, is the, which represents the current injection model of the renewable sources. We have in blue RECC, the REEC module family, which represents the electrical controls of the electrical inverters, and REPCA, which represents the renewable plant controller. These three modules combined represent the three, the three sources, battery, PV, and, and wind. Now, the Modelica Standard Library has its own components, but OpenAPSL Library has its proprietary components and also uses components from the Modelica Standard Library, given that they're standard, in order to create specialized blocks that are able to represent integrator behaviorals from the PSSC, from PSSC. This slide is to show the block diagram from the manuals of the WCC and the representation using the OpenAPSL standard blocks and the Modelica standard uh, li uh, library blocks that, we, that they have. So combining them, we, we can represent the block diagram on the left. This slide shows the electrical controller of the PV and the wind. So you can use the same electrical controller for both, 
representations. And as you can see, those orange squares, they represent logical switching blocks, which by changing the Boolean value of this switching block, it'll be either opened or closed, and also it will represent different control configurations. This is, the, is an example of the electrocontroller of the battery energy storage system. And the main difference between both of them is that this component has initial state of charge of the battery. Finally, we have the RAPCA module, also implemented in the open IPSL library. And this, is, and this does the plant controller of the models. Now, given that the, that the models are all differential al algebraic equations, we need to initialize the system in a steady state. And in order for us to initialize our models in steady state, we must solve power flow simulations. And a good example to show what is a power flow simulation is imagine that somebody is taking a picture of the electrical grid and it takes the picture and it gets the states of the system, which is uh, the generator's active and reactive power, the load's active and reactive power, and also the voltage magnitude and angle from all the buses. So throughout the power flow solution, we get these parameters or these states, and these states are used to initialize the models that we have. So again, IP0 and IQ0 are the active and reactive power that is being injected by the generator slash converter model, in other words, the renewable models, and these injections of current, initial injections of current, they use parameters that we found from the power flow simulation. And through the final value theorem, we can project these values from IQ0 up to the beginning of the block, and you can continue projecting these values throughout the other components in order for us to guarantee that we, when we initialize the, the time domain simulation, everything starts in steady state. This is an example of how to connect the electrical controller with uh, the generator slash converter model. And this is an example for the PV source. Through, uh, through the switching through the difference, differences in the Boolean values of the switches, we can have different scheme controls. For instance, in our case, for the PV controller, we have constant power factor control and constant reactive power control. These modes of operation have the, have the minimum required blocks necessary. For instance, in this case, in order for us to have a constant local power factor control, we, we need to have two modules and the configuration of the logic is as follows. An, ex an example of the control tab of the electrical controller is shown down below where we have the Boolean values. The validation process is, was done through this test case, this um, te system model template, where we apply default to the system and we would measure on both PSSC and on Daimola the results of the active and reactive power that was being injected by the renewable energy source. And as you can see, the active and reactive power for test one, where we had a PV model with constant local reactive power control, both had similar results with a, with a spike in the mismatch error only at the moment of the fault and the clearing moment. And this is done because of the difference in the tolerance of, of, the, of the different tools that is Daimola and PSSC. Same thing for test two, this time for the battery energy storage system where we have local voltage reactive and reactive power control. Also had the same, the same solution. Now additional cap capabilities of Modelica gives us more flexibility in the sense that we don't need to have a constant power reference to the model, but we can connect other stuff, for instance, in this case, a radiance to power uh, module where we could use 24 hour data in order to generate uh, the power flow, the simulation. In conclusion, this work presented the implementation of the validation of generic renewable energy sources based on the modern guides from the WCC. The models are presented as an open source software. They're reusable and generic 
and capable of emulating the RMS equivalent of inverter-based renewable energy sources, such as PV, wind, and battery. These generic renewable sources are crucial for studying the modern electrical grid, marked by intermittent generation units and bidirectional power flows. Thank you for your invitation.